what am I gonna freaking do? And I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. I'm about to have to sell my boat and start fishing off an upside down five gallon bucket for catfish and carp or something. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. It's been a while since we've uploaded a video and there's a reason for that. So if you guys watched my last video, you saw where I talked about how I've been struggling to catch fish. I've been in a bit of a slump and I was heading out of town, going to go chase a dragon, link up with my buddy Captain Ron, hit some different lakes, try to get on some fish and make some on the road fishing content for you guys. And I went and did all of that. And in this video, I'm going to let you guys check out some of the footage I shot while I was out there and let you see how that went. So just a heads up, not much has changed around here. I've been in the most difficult fishing period of my entire life. So I went out on the road, fished for four straight days, shot a bunch of footage. I actually caught a new PB on this trip. That's not what you think. You're gonna have to watch and uh, you'll see more about that once we get into this footage that I shot while I was on the road. And then once I got back into town, I immediately started fishing again here at home, hitting the home lake, trying to get out there and get things done for you guys. And man, it has just been so tough for me. I'm in the biggest slump since I started doing this. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm about to have to sell my boat and start fishing off an upside down five gallon bucket for catfish and carp or something. I truly do not know what to do. I've been trying so hard to make a fishing video for you guys and it's just not come together. So that's why I'm back here in the office and we're kicking this one off from inside again. But I do want to share some of this footage that I shot with you guys from out there on the road. There is some cool stuff. And like I said, I caught a new PB <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and check that out right now. And I'll catch up with you guys here in the office once we're done looking at this footage that I shot from out there on the road, some vlog style stuff and some fishing stuff as well. So let's check it out. And uh, you guys can hear me talk about how things were going while I was out of town and then we'll wrap things up from back here in the office and talk about how things have been going since I've been back home. Let's check it out. I have traveled to the land of the dragons and we're on a mission. I'm trying to catch the biggest bass of my life and we are at a place where that may very well happen. I've got four days out here, try to make some good fishing content for you guys. And we're gonna fish all day for the next four days. I'm about to launch the boat right now. I'm going to be linking up with my friend Captain Ron while we're here, fellow Team 6 member and one-third of the almighty Wolf Pack. Hopefully we can get out there and get on them, but I'm just on a mission to grind, put my head down and grind, and hopefully link up with the biggest bass of my life. It may or may not happen, but the potential is there. There have been some really good fish being caught out here lately, and the lake is fishing really good. The bite is on, so the only thing stopping me is me. So I'm not going to take up any more time here in the truck. We're going to head down to the water right now, get the boat launched, and we're going to rip off solo on day one see if we can put a dragon in the boat the land of the dinosaurs the land of the dragon the house of the dragons see if we can get it done see if we can find old double digit midge double dragon chasing the dragon going down again thank you guys for tuning in let's head down to the water get old june bug dumped in the lake see if we can find us a fat girl fat bottom girls you make the rocking world go round Target acquired. A little group of them right out here in 12 foot of water. Looks like one really good fish out front. They didn't want the squim jig. Three really nice fish right here. Throw the bongo down there to them. If they want the TR. Nope. I didn't think that was going to work. Back over here to the left now. You know what I better do before I start anything, make a major mistake, because I better get my net out. Let's not jack around, hook into a dragon, and not have this bad boy ready. You guys know me, I normally don't even mess with the net, but this is the lake where you want to have it out. All right, where did they go? They're right below us. They're right under the boat. Three big ones. Some of these fish are dang smart. They've seen a lot of baits. We're gonna trick one. We're gonna trick one while we're here. That's a big fish. She's right here under the boat. She followed it all the way to the boat, dudes. She was in about 10 foot of water or less. So that's, that's awesome. The little guy over there.
smoked it. Just ran up and smoked it. Just a smaller fish, but that didn't take long. We got one in the boat. There's a little group of these guys. Came up and just crushed the provoke. Fish number one. This is not what we're after, but hey, at least we got to set the hook on one. This fish is cold. It's early. We got four days, dudes. We got four days to fool a big one. All right. Let's find that one's mama. Let's find the fish that will eat that fish as a snack. That's what we're trying to do. That fish just came up and blasted the jerk bait. Awesome. The first fish that I casted to, the one that we saw back there, that fish was the right kind. That fish was big. That was just a little group of little ones. All we gotta do is put this bait in front of the right fish and it's gonna be on, guys. All right, we just got off the lake. Day one was rough. Uh, we're gonna pick it up day two as far as the fishing goes. Learned a lot, found a lot of stuff, saw some freaking giants. Hopefully we'll be able to figure them out, but I wanted to show you guys, figured I'd show you guys where we're staying. This is a step up from the kind of stuff Ronnie and I are normally crashing in. This place right here is pretty freaking nice. This is like the Ritz Carlton, it's decked out. We're eating good on the road. Steaks and burgers, pretty much carnivore, carnivore style while we're out here. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys where we're staying on this trip. I'm freaking whipped, dude. Fished all day. Like I said, saw some giants, but could not get them to pull the trigger. A couple times, it was so close. I was so close. Some huge fish, well over five pounds. I'm not for certain how big they were, obviously, because I didn't catch them. But I'm telling you, I saw some giants today. And I'm going back out first thing in the morning, and then Ronnie will be here tomorrow night. The next three days, we're we're gonna keep grinding. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull it together before this trip is over. But I just wanna show you guys around the place that we're staying. I'm about to cook me a steak, and I'm whipped, dude. That was, that was a tough day of fishing. I did not stop all day. I'm freaking starving, haven't had a bite, and I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to take a shower, get clean, wake up in the morning, do it all over again. So we'll pick the sucker up day two, and then tomorrow evening, Ronnie will be here. We're just gonna keep it rolling. Day one, blasted that one fish really fast on spot number one, and with the way they were reacting, I was like, oh, it's about to get good. And then, dude, it was just tough, man. This lake is like, I have like a love-hate relationship with this lake. Sometimes I have a blast out here and magical things happen, and then other times, whoo, I've been out here and struggled a lot, but I'm not gonna let that kill my spirit. We're gonna kick it off again in the morning, and I'm gonna get some rest, get a bite to eat, and we'll be back down at the lake at sunrise, do it all over again. Carnivore overload for my one meal of the day. Wagyu burgers and a big old ribeye. Some primal kitchen steak sauce and ketchup. Nothing brings out the flavor of a steak like some ketchup. Name that movie. All right, I got me a bite to eat. I'm about to rig some rods. And then take a shower, call it a night. We'll pick it up on day two. I just wanted you guys to see this beautiful West Texas sunset. Awesome. All right, day two, morning two, recap from yesterday. I don't even know if I gave you guys a full breakdown of what happened yesterday, because I was so hungry when I got off the water and I was just focused on cooking that steak, but it was tough. So as you guys saw, when I got to spot number one, I cracked one really quick on the provoke. I saw some really big fish there on that first spot. And then I saw a wolf pack of multiple fish threw the provoke over that wolf pack and one came up and smashed it. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, if they're eating like this, today could be the day. It was not the day. I fished a lot of water. I hit a lot of spots. I scoped for miles and I saw some absolute megas, a couple of which actually darted up at my bait and acted like they were going to eat or just followed it all the way to the boat, taunting me. But I saw some giants, wasn't able to get them to pull the trigger. That's okay. We still have three days left. Yeah, yesterday just wasn't my day. Early this morning, had a cold front start blowing in. I heard like the wind blowing outside and I like woke up. I was like, what is that noise? And went outside, it was getting chilly. It's back down into the forties and hopefully that's gonna get these bigger fish to 
really uh, get fired up and start eating those big fish like the cold weather. So that's where we're at. One fish on day one. I fished all day and my plan is to do the same today. Captain Ron will be here today and we're just going to keep grinding, keep going, keep our heads down, stay focused. I'm up. It's early. I'm energized. I'm feeling good. I slept really good. The, the bed here is super comfortable. This place is really nice, a lot nicer than the places I'm used to staying in. And I feel good, despite the fact that we didn't catch any fish yesterday. So, so yeah, that's where we are, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown, a quick update. We'll go outside, take a peek at Junebug, and then at first light, we're gonna be back on the water, chasing the dragon, and maybe, just maybe, today could be the day we bump into old double dig midge and get her to eat. Like I said, I saw some fish on the scope yesterday that I'm confident were well over five pounds, like pushing that 10 pound range easy. And obviously I can't say that for certain, but they were huge on the scope. Uh, and I looked at a lot of fish on the scope yesterday, found a couple spots with some giants on it. I got them marked. Hopefully we can go back there and find those fish again. If not, I'm just gonna keep grinding and keep doing what I was doing yesterday until hopefully, God willing, I'll run across the right fish and get her to eat. So that's what's going down. That was the breakdown from day one. It was tough for your boy, but I ain't done yet. We're not done yet. This video is gonna keep rolling through day two, day three, day four, and I'm having a good time being out here on the road already. Let's go check on Junebug, see how things are looking outside. It's still dark. Wolfpack, engage. Clean, boy. All right then, Cameron's here. All right, dudes, this is it. This is the last hurrah right here. This entire trip has been a bust. Only caught one bass. I'm not alone. It's been tough for everybody. Seems like right when I got here, they wanted to shut down on us. But there are certain people that are catching fish. We talked to an old boy yesterday that said all he was throwing was a swim jig and he caught some nice ones. So I'm back out here. I've got half a day left here. My trip has gone pretty much how all my fishing trips have gone lately, which is not good. How bad has it been? I've deleted the footage from every day. Every day I, I went back to the room at night and cleared off my memory cards. There's nothing worth even watching. Captain Ron was here for two days. Official Ronnie for two days. We didn't catch a dang thing. Like I said, this is my last morning and I'm out here trying to make something happen. Just once, man, if I could just get one fish, uh, that'll, be, that'll be good enough for me, man. I just want one nice fish, some redemption on the last morning. Otherwise, you guys will never see this. It's just been so tough, guys. It's been so tough. I've casted at a thousand fish and watched 500 of them follow my bait look at it and not touch it i've had so many that were close to eating guys so many fish that were so close to freaking eating no go no dice and apparently that's a similar story for a lot of people a whole lot of people out here struggling right now it's funny because before i got here supposedly this lake was plumbing them out everybody's catching mega fish go out there and smash them sure enough as soon as i get here nope nope.com which has been my experience on this lake i'm sure you guys know what lake i'm on a lot of you do and every time i've come here since the first time i've been here has been a total waste of time and if you can hear the frustration in my voice i'm sure uh i spent a lot of money to come out here and stay for four days and you know travel expenses and time just time really is the, is the main thing i don't even care about the money it's the time that i've just wasted out here trying to get something done and it has not happened for me so um yeah i don't know anything other to say you know sorry it's just this is fishing you know this is fishing this is what it is especially on a lake that's as pressured as this one we just got to grind it out one last morning the wind's gonna pick up hopefully i can get it done old reliable me and the squim jig out here trying to trick one i gotta put my head down and grind that's it that's all i can do
small is that a what is this is this a small mouth it's a small mouth i just caught a freaking small mouth on the swim jig dudes chased it and crushed it look at this fish not in the best of shape but i'll freaking take it dude oh my gosh I've never caught a smallmouth that, but that's my new PB smallmouth. It's not a big one. It's an unhealthy one, but we're going to get a weight. And I'm freaking fired up over this, dude, because my gosh, it's been so tough for me out here. This is day four out here, chasing the dragon. I've seen a lot of dragons, but could not get them to eat. Dude, this fish stinks. Feels, smells like it's about to die, honestly. But dude... I got one to eat. Oh my gosh. They're following the swim jig. I've had a lot of followers this morning. I just want to see what this fish weighs just for fun. Two pounds. Two pound smallmouth. That's my new PB for sure. I've only ever caught little ones out on Lake Belton. I've only ever fished for smallmouth once before in my life. That right there new pv smallmouth I, I mean yeah that's a smallmouth bass i couldn't tell at first because of how white his belly is his color's all off but you can see he's got the orange eyes i'm gonna get him back in the water he's cold they're following the swim jig guys i've had so many good fish following it this one chased it down and freaking crushed it he had a couple fish with him i'm gonna let him go oh my god that just i don't know gets me fired up even though it's not you know the dragon that i've been after while i'm out here like I said earlier in the video, guys, it's been probably an hour and a half since I started fishing, maybe a little more. I uh, I deleted all the footage from this entire trip so far because there's nothing's been happening. I caught that first fish on the on the first day. You guys saw that, and then I caught a white bass. I deleted that because who wants to see me catch a white bass on accident? I caught him. Freaking PB smallmouth. I'll take it, you know, two pound fish, not the 10 pound largemouth I'm after, but whatever, dude, at least it's something. It just felt good to set the hook and fight one for a minute because man, it has been tough, boys. I was thrown to a much bigger fish. Looks like they're sucked down there in those rocks. I've been creeping it along the bottom. That one chased it and crushed it. I've had some nice followers. Just not do it. Just not pull the trigger. I had a couple bumps, a couple times they bumped it came up and kissed it but didn't commit that one freaking fully committed all right guys and there that was so first off new pb smallmouth nothing major you know a little over two pounds i think that fish was definitely the biggest smallmouth that i ever caught in my life malnourished beat up looking nasty smelling fish to be honest with you guys I was having some camera troubles on this trip my camera on the dash of the boat shut off on me so i only have one angle of that catch and I shot some cool stuff, you know, from around the, the cabin and of the boat and, you know, caught that fish really quick on the first day and I thought it was about to go off, but it just did not happen for me. I really struggled out there. I fished for four days really hard, sun up to sun down, graft and scoped for freaking miles, fish stuff that I was familiar with, hit spots that I had never been to before and I just could not make it happen. There are people out there on that lake catching giants. I'm sure you guys know where I was. A lot of you guys probably do anyway. And there are people still there right now catching double digit fish. But for me, I just could not make it happen. I'm starting to think I freaking suck. And man, it's just so tough to invest. Like that cabin was not cheap. I spent a lot of time and energy going onto the road to just try to make something happen for you guys because you know, the word on the streets was, man, they were cracking them out there. Everybody was catching mega fish. Well, it seemed like right when we got to town, I started hearing that it was getting tougher and that oh, it was a grind. We only caught one fish today. So it's like, as soon as I showed up, things changed and the fish slowed down and there were still people catching big fish, but it became a lot harder to catch them, especially with the warm front that had rolled through. It got cold on day two, but then it got warm again and there was just a warming trend and it's just got those fish not eating as good. So one thing that's going on in Texas right now is we had like full blown winter roll in where it got really cold and then stayed cold for a little bit. But then shortly after that, it started getting warm again. It was like fake fall slash winter. And 
Now it's back up into like springtime conditions. It did the same thing last year, and I remember that the fishing was tough then as well. The fish just do not like it when it does that here in Texas, and I thought I could go out on the road and go to a lake where everybody was catching these monster fish on the regular, sometimes multiple big fish a day. Friends of mine, you know, fishing guides and, and buddies that I know that are honestly better anglers than I am, have more experience on this lake. We're catching some giants on a regular basis repeatedly sometimes multiple a day so i thought that i could go out there and hopefully on this attempt which i've made this attempt several times before i have a love-hate relationship with that lake guys like the first time i ever went there on the original team six beatdown, it was some of the most magical fishing that i've ever experienced in my entire life and i've gone back multiple times since then trying to just recreate a piece of that magic and i've been unable to do so failed every time had my butt whipped out there every time i've tried to go and do this pretty much it's been a bust and i've just ended up wasting my time wasting my resources and i thought that maybe with the things that i was seeing from some of my friends and some other people that i know that were out there fishing and catching giants that i could go out there and at least get on one of them sadly it was not the case it's, it's extremely disheartening if i'm being honest like it actually affects me you know it affects my mental state it affects my motivation my mood and i think it's affecting my ability to catch fish honestly because i've been out here on my home lake ever since i got home trying to get it done and just failed and i need to i need to pull it together i need to get back to work really if I'm being honest with you, it all comes down to the work. I love fishing, filming, failing upward on YouTube. I love grinding, editing every day after I get home from fishing every day and working towards the next goal, the next upload, the next video, the next piece of content. And when I'm not doing that, I get bummed out. I get sad. I get depressed. I get lethargic and I just do not like it. And going out there, fishing for four days straight, Working as hard as I felt like I could work and putting my bait in front of, I casted it a thousand fish, guys. I put my bait in front of so many fish and coming up short and failing to even get one of them in the boat, it's a little disheartening. I'm not crying. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you guys what's going on inside my head, why I haven't been uploading so many videos lately. It's just been really tough for your boy and going out there and spending all that time, all that money and coming up empty handed was tough it's the way she goes boys that's fishing you can't always get what you want and i'm just gonna have to put my head back down and keep grinding that's why i'm making this video because i was i've been sitting around like what am i what am i gonna freaking do like i've got to upload it's been like eight nine days since i made a video and i'm freaking out so i'm like okay i'm just gonna try to make an enjoyable piece of content with the footage that I did shoot out there, let you guys see the small mouth and talk to you guys about where my head is at, what's been happening to me, hopefully get some advice from you guys. If you got anything for me, drop it down in the comments. I know a lot of you guys are gonna tell me to downsize and finesse fish, throw a little tiny swim bait or something. I Trust me guys, I've been trying everything that I can to try and get on a good bite and it's just not been happening but i welcome any advice and guidance that you guys may have for me i love interacting with you guys down there in the comment section man i promise you i'm not gonna stop until i get on a good bite and we can actually start pumping out the videos again i would like to upload daily if it was up to me i would upload multiple videos a week if not every single day if not multiple videos a day that would be awesome i'm a one-man army i do everything myself i go fishing i film everything by myself i edit everything by myself and when i'm not catching fish if nothing happens if i go on the road for four days waste four days and then get home start fishing immediately once i get back in town and still don't catch anything well there's not much for me to edit and the uploads slow down and like i said i remember this time last year fake fall, fake winter. If it gets warm again after that hard cold front hits and stays here for a little bit, these fish just freak out. They don't know what's going on. But I know one thing, they do not like it and they do not eat, at least not for me. Like I said, I know plenty of people that are out there smashing on them. Some of you guys are messaging me, oh, I saw so-and-so catching multiple DDs back to, well, I'm not so-and-so, okay? That ain't me. And, uh, you know, there are much better anglers. Ever since I started doing this, I've always said from the very beginning, I'm an amateur to intermediate bass angler, but I still try and I still go out there and I, I still try my best to get it done for you guys. And I have caught some big fish in my day. So I don't know, you know, I don't know uh, what else there is to say, you know, I'm kind of just 
yammering on and on at this point, but I feel like I'm confident enough to know that I, I have like somewhat of an ability to catch fish given my history since I started going down this whole bass fishing rabbit hole and I know it's only a matter of time. I'm going to get redemption on that lake. I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm going to go back out there and eventually one of those fish's number is going to be up and they're going to slip up and eat something for me. But that's really what's going on, guys. It's just been tough. Like I said, I think I'm about to end up selling my boat and fishing on an upside down five gallon bucket from the bank or doing something. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. I do have some baits on the way. We're going to be doing some unboxing content for sure really soon. And I'm just waiting for USPS to stop driving this stuff all over the country. It went from Texas to Nevada and now it's on its way back to Texas to hopefully get to me. But man, I've just really been in a tough way lately with this fishing, guys. And I know a lot of you guys can relate. I saw a lot of people in the comments telling me that they were struggling as well. And I know there are people out there watching that'll, uh, you know, get some joy in that fact that I'm having a hard time. But I'm not going to let it defeat me. And I will be back on them eventually. I've just got to keep grinding, keep trying. And I've been doing that fished those four days out of town, came home, launched the freaking boat. You know, it's like the first thing I did was like, all right, time to go fishing. Went out, nothing. Went out, nothing. Went out, nothing. And I don't mean nothing, but I mean nothing worth uploading. Like I can catch a couple small guads, one large mouth. Like nobody wants to watch me catch three little bitty fish and then try to upload it and make a big edited video like I did something special like, nah, I need to get on a good bite for you guys, show you guys some different baits, some different techniques, and that's really what I'm trying to do. And it just hasn't been coming together. So I sincerely apologize for the lack of content lately. Like I said, we got some cool unboxing stuff coming up and, uh, you know, maybe place a little Christmas order, try to cheer myself up with a Christmas gift to myself and we'll unbox that as well. So stay tuned for the unboxing content. But other than that, just wanted to give you guys this update, let you guys know what's been going on and uh, why there haven't been a lot of videos lately and let you guys see what happened out there on the road. New PB smallmouth, you know, whatever. It's nothing, nothing really to get too hyped up about, honestly. But it was the biggest smallmouth that I've ever caught. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for sticking with me, for riding with me. I hope all of you out there are doing well, hanging in there. I hope you're getting on a better bike than I am because man, I'm starting to go crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. As always, you know the deal. Shout out to Six Cents, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for the win. If you guys wanna support the channel, best believe using that JR10 code at checkout on sixcentsfishing.com is a massive way to do that and it helps us keep this whole machine running. Shout out to the Heater Army. All the names are gonna be right here on the screen. As soon as I end the video, these guys are the lifeblood of everything that I have going on and without them, I absolutely could not do this. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all doing well and having a good holiday season. Better than me anyways, especially when it comes to fishing. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one.